Hi everybody, it's Mr. Giles, and today I'm going to show you how to have multiple backgrounds in Pivot, so you can change your backgrounds like this. Let's just watch an example. I have my characters at Del Taco, all of a sudden he's at a Haunted Mansion, and he's back at Del Taco. Alright, so how do you change the background? So, well, you have this background button here, and when you first click it, it's just a plain white background. When you load a background by going to File, Load Background, you can select backgrounds that you've saved. Now, if you want your animation to look good and not change and have like these crazy giant weird backgrounds and uh, bigger than pivot is then you're going to need to resize it in another program since we've been using paint.net i'll talk about it in relation to paint.net you can use any program to resize your images the key is that all of your image your background should be the same size for our particular animation we're working at 854 by 480 so Here's how we're going to do this. First, I'm just going to go and we're going to start by going, I'm going to look up Del Taco. So I went to Google Images. I wrote Del Taco and I find a picture of Del Taco. Okay, here's the picture I found. Okay, and if you look, it's actually a really large picture. It's 3000 by 1952. I'm going to copy image. Okay, I'm going to go to paint.net and I'm going to paste the image. And I'm going to just say, um, you could just say expand canvas. That's fine. Okay, so it's a really big picture it's bigger than the entire uh, thing so I'm going to uh, zoom out a little so you can see it in case it didn't in case it zoomed in and I'm gonna go to image resize and I'm gonna uncheck this check mark and I'm gonna set it to 854 by 480 well it doesn't matter the size you choose the size I'm using 854 by 480 because it's a um, it's like a widescreen size, so it'll it'll look good on YouTube, Vimeo, uh, like a like a widescreen format. So I'm going to resize it. It doesn't honestly look like it did that much. I'm going to zoom back into 100%, and I'm going to save my first background. So I'm going to save this file, save as, and I'm going to call this BG for background, and I'm going to call it Del Taco, okay? And I already have one, so I'll call it Del Taco too. And I'm going to save. Say OK. There we go. I've just resized it. Now I'm going to go find another picture. I'm going to go back to Google. This time I'm going to write Haunted Mansion. Okay, and I'm going to find a picture of a Haunted Mansion. I'm going to go to Images. And it doesn't matter which one you choose, although it'll probably look better if you find a picture that's got a widescreen, like a, a rectangular aspect to it. So um, I'm going to choose one that's a slightly lighter color because I have a character that's a black and white character. I'm going to right click, copy image. I'm going to go back to paint.net. I'm going to hit control V paste. If it's smaller, then I'm just going to resize it. But if it's, I'm just going to say expand canvas. I'm going to make it the full size, whatever that is. And I'm going to go to image, resize. And I'm going to make sure this is unchecked. I'm going to set it to 854. And I'm going to hit the tab key and I'm going to hit 480. Say OK. And it's now it's the right size. Even though it doesn't look a whole lot different, I'm going to go to file. Save as. It doesn't matter PNG or JPEG, either will work. I'm going to rename it. I'm going to call it BG Haunted House. And I'm calling it BG so that I know all my backgrounds will all sit next to each other in the folder. And that's the reason I'm doing that. I'm going to say save. And I'm going to say OK. Now I go back to pivot. I'm just going to start a new pivot just so you can see. No, don't save. I'm going to go to file, load background. And I'm going to load my BG Haunted House or BG Del Taco. Say open. So there's my first start of my animation. It will use this background. So now if I add a frame and I get close to the edge here, ah, it's hard because my uh, the camera is in the way there. Okay, there we go. Leaves the screen. Okay, and I'm going to hit play. So there's my character running across the screen. He runs off the right-hand side, which means I'm going to want my character to run in from the left on the next picture. So now I finished that. I'm going to go File, Load Background. I'm going to load another background. I'm going to load my Haunted Mansion. So I'm going to say BG Haunted House, Open. And there it is. Now this time, my character is going to come from this side and run across. Now he's really dark against this background, but it's okay. I'm just going to, I'm going to do it anyway. Okay. Runs across the screen. And now I hit play, and you're going to see him run, and then he runs into the next screen and runs across. That's the simple explanation, but you can make it more interesting and more complicated by adding different backgrounds 
um, having him or her go different places. Maybe they fly up into the sky. So if I want him to fly up into the sky, maybe I'll look for a uh, sky, okay? Clouds and sky, okay? Let's take a clouds and sky picture. I'm going to right click, copy image, and let's go back to paint.net. I'm gonna paste it. See, look, it's actually smaller than my size, so I'm just gonna stretch it out. If you do too much stretching out, it's not gonna look as good. It's, it's much better if you shrink it than if you stretch it, but for this example, it's okay. File, save as. I'm going to call this BG Clouds. And I'll just say okay. And I go back to pivot. File. Now this time, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to have my character, I'm going to have him walk back onto the screen. Okay? And I'm going to have him fly up. I'm going to have him put his arms up. I, I will do a much better animation for this, but this isn't all about the animation. This is more about the... Uh... Okay, so I flow him off the screen. And now when he flies into the next background, file, load background. This time I'm going to look the sky background, clouds, I'm sorry. Okay, now my character is going to come from the bottom of the screen. And maybe he floats. Yay, and he wins. Play. So let's see, watch the whole thing. Runs across. He comes back onto the screen and he goes upwards. And then he comes from the bottom of the next one up because he's flying in. And there you go. I've got my multiple backgrounds. So create your creations, upload them, share them, tell me about them. If you have other ideas or other tricks you can do with the background, I'd love to know. But for now, I'm Mr. Giles, and this is how to change backgrounds in Pivot.